When a local person try to teach you their local language and when you share also your local language experience with them, so this will be a language exchange and this is how we met actually yes. So in Speak Club. So we can also share uh, Narmin's organization under this video. And uh, she's doing very good stuff in Kaunas, in Lithuania. As an example, there is a speak community, so people can exchange their languages. Spanish people can teach you Spanish, and you can teach them your native language, Turkish, Ukrainian, or Lithuanian, or whatever. So, yeah, that's, that would be the example from my side. Also, I can add, add that this speak uh, community, this this initiative, it's very um, reciprocal thing, you know, where you get this feeling of belonging. It's very important okay. when you are new in this city and you come and you meet also newcomers, let's say, okay. or not only. And when I was a volunteer here, maybe my second month here in Lithuania, in Kaunas, I went to the couch surfing meeting oh, okay. and I met very beautiful people there and we are communicating we make a friendship it, even till now thank you so much it was good ex example so I think I can put all of the links below this video to maybe for people who wants to learn a new language and struggling to find the communities or how they can start so they can use these events or activities, yes. as you are mentioning. Yes, I will definitely put. And I would like to give you one advice, like, you know, to be to be cur curious when you come to a new culture, new city. And that's why you can uh, get to this new local and not only local communities, mm -hmm. like language exchange clubs yeah. or this speak community club, or I don't know, maybe some language courses at the university yeah, okay. or in other communities from Red Cross, mm -hmm. let's say, mm -hmm. or um, different centers for refugees. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can exchange. Another point is that with speak community, you can be a buddy, mm -hmm. you can teach your own language. Yeah, okay. And also two months ago, uh, they started this initiative that you can um, start your conversational club mm -hmm. anywhere. Okay. Just, let's say, in Kaunas, yes. you can start your conversational club, let's say, Turkish. Turkish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I can start Ukrainian or mm -hmm. Lithuanian or other language. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome opportunity, mm -hmm. let's say. Also, in let's speak about Kaunas. Yeah, there is a Let's Talk Kaunas, also mm -hmm. beautiful initiative. Okay. Uh, people come together and uh, there is a language exchange. Yeah. A speak community and many other opportunities. Also, as I'm working in the university, uh, I work with students, with students' integration, with marketing, and uh, as I know Italian language, I okay. always had this um, need to practice to maintain the language because if you don't use it, <laughs> you forget yes, it. Oh my forget. god! <laughs> yeah, so I decided to create Italian speaking club uh, because. Yeah. I wanted to maintain to yes. this level, my level. I wanted yes. to speak, just yeah. to speak. So I invited uh, Italian exchange students wow, okay. and I asked them, oh, guys, maybe you can be uh, leaders of Mentor, this club, yes, mentors, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, and we had three beautiful students okay. last semester, mm -hmm. previous semester, autumn semester, yeah. And we had around eight uh, participants, students, employers, also alumni, and we were gathering together every week for one hour and a half, and we were talking on different topics. And the most the most important thing uh, was that it was reciprocal. Lithuanians shared their culture, mm -hmm. their, their tips and tricks for Italian students. Oh, you have to visit th this place, you have ah, to try, okay. you have to eat this stuff, and so Travel on. Travel stories. <laughs> Travel, cultural things, okay. some advices what to eat, uh, about places, how to discover Lithuania. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, Italian students, in Italian language, of course, shared their culture, their uh, knowledge, and to encourage us to talk. Yeah. Because the most uh, our goal was to practice this conversational Italian language. Yeah. And but in the same time, we get this benefit benefits like yeah, this culture exchange, mm -hmm. Lithuanian about Lithuanian culture, history, 
beautiful places. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's a new challenge, reciprocal. Yes, yes.